It's been so nice. I mean, temperatures are going to top out in the mid and upper 80s, which is not too far from normal. But fall, we've been waiting for those fall temperatures, getting a little bit of relief here and there. Fall officially begins on Sunday, Sunday morning. So we are six days away from that. And there's some good timing with this because we are expecting a chance of rain and eventually temperatures to go down, at least temporarily. And then we're looking at Halloween, 45 days away, Thanksgiving, 73 days. Christmas officially 100 days away from that. And I know a lot of you have been counting down and just kind of looking at where we've been and where we are going. Uh, yeah, it's been a little warm around here. Eventually, we are expecting those summer temperatures to return. And right now, it looks like Thursday is going to be one of the warmer days. We're forecasting a high of 95 degrees. The record that day is actually 98, and that was set back in 1954. So it's been a while. It's also been a while since we've had a decent rainfall, at least here in Oklahoma City. In fact, it was that one Sunday morning. It was August 11th where we had over six and a half inches of rain that fell at the Oklahoma City Airport. A lot of you remember that. So it's been 36 days since we've had a decent rain. But over the past weekend, there were some isolated showers and storms as early as Saturday morning. That was really the East Metro and then it moved into South Central Oklahoma. And then yesterday we had a couple of storms in the Southwest and even went severe. And that was due to the 60 mile an hour wind gusts that we had out there. But things are pretty quiet right now in Oklahoma. We did have a couple of showers in the far northwest part of the state, but now we just have storms kind of floating around the state. So nothing going on on next gen live for now. This is our American Fidelity camera of our Lucky Star Skycam Network. We're at 82 degrees. That wind, it's light and variable for the time being. We're at 85 in Enid. We have warmed up to 89 in Sealing, 86 in Weatherford. We do have low 80s in Tecumseh, 82 degrees in Byers. The upper 70s, though, still hanging out in Miami, 85 in Alva, but we have warmed up to 90 degrees in Guymon. We're at 87 in Altus. The wind, at least in eastern Oklahoma, generally out of the east to northeast, between about 10 to 20 in Oklahoma City. That wind's out of the southeast, but in western Oklahoma, it's out of the southeast, and we're going to see wind gusts as high as around 20 to 25 miles an hour at times. But outside of that, that, just pretty quiet for the remainder of the day. I think over the next couple of days, eventually we're going to try to get some rain chances in here. We've got a big trough out to the west, and that will send at least some waves of energy our way. I think the better chance is actually going to happen on Wednesday. So we're looking Tuesday night, very late Tuesday night, early Wednesday. By Wednesday afternoon and evening, it's going to try to make a run for western Oklahoma. But at this point, it looks like Oklahoma City stays right until this weekend. Notice stopping the clock now Saturday evening, and we still have those chances generally out to the north and west, but I think late Saturday evening, Saturday night after the football games, it looks like the storms are going to be moving into the metro. At least there's a chance for now, and that should linger through early Sunday, and with that, we are expecting temperatures to go down some, so I think eventually it will become a little bit more comfortable, but at this point, that looks very temporary, but I think we're also looking at a pattern change in the days ahead, so we'll see what happens. For now, though, it's not terrible outside. It's certainly a little warm, especially if you're going to spend a lot of time outdoors. We're at 90 in Guthrie today. We're talking upper 80s in Arcadia. I think we're looking high of about 87 in downtown Oklahoma City, but 89 at the airport. So 89 here in Oklahoma City officially, but 89 in Ponca City, 92 in Alva, and 92 this afternoon in Hobart. This evening, I'm just going to go with a slight chance we get some showers and storms in the northwest. Not all the data agrees with that, but still keeping a slight chance there. Otherwise, overnight tonight, we're staying pretty quiet. We're dropping to about 64 in Guthrie, 64 in Jones, 64 degrees in Oklahoma City at the airport, but 65 in Ponca City, 70 in Hobart, and 67 tomorrow morning in Lawton. Tomorrow afternoon, more of the same. I think temperatures make it back into the upper 80s. We're talking 90 in Ponca City, 86 in Ada, 93 tomorrow afternoon in Hobart. And then on Wednesday afternoon. We're back in the low 90s. We're talking 95 in Lawton, 97 degrees in Altus. Wednesday afternoon evening, there's your chance of rain and storms out to the west, but at this point, I really don't think Hopefully. it that and, holds true. And fall is on the way, but yes. it doesn't seem like it's going to actually arrive. In no, time. <laughs> but eventually it will. We all know that it's going to change here eventually, and then we're going to want it to be warmer. You're right about that. Yeah. Thanks so much, Kat. <laughs>